The assessor's big mistake. After receiving a sky-high assessment, a suburban family says they were nearly bankrupt by paying their taxes and lost their third-generation business. Now the I-team is learning that the Cook County assessor is admitting to making an incorrect high assessment. Consumer so investigator Jason Knowles and the I-team have new developments. Jason? Rob Sherrill, it's a property tax mistake. The assessor has admitted that the family is owed almost $300,000. But now the family is having trouble getting that money back. All of this after losing their family business. The Kinch family forced to sell their business they opened in 1938. An over-assessment left them overtaxed. We were a part of the community of Palatine for 80 years. Uh, we were the flower growers. Here's what happened. The third generation of the Kinch Village florist and greenhouse in Palatine first were saddled with the 2019 property tax bill that went from nearly $25,000 to $183,000, an increase of 640%. Then in 2020, they got another increased bill for $151,000. The increases were due to the Cook County Assessor inaccurately changing their land from farm to commercial. The I-Team first told you the heartbreaking story in September of 2021. The Kinches were the flower people, and I, I love that. With the taxes too high to afford, family members say they were forced to demolish the business and sell the land. The family initially appealed with the Cook County Assessor and Board of Review, and they lost. The Assessor admitted to the mistake, but it's too little too late. When you did your original story, it was actually very helpful because the Assessor's office did reach out to our attorney and said, oh, we made a mistake. The Cook County Assessor Fritz Kagey is now admitting to a mistake totaling almost $300,000, but the family hasn't received that money. That's because that nearly $300,000 the family overpaid in taxes has already been spent by the local taxing bodies, most of it going to two local school districts and the library. The family asked them for a refund, but the attorneys representing the library and school districts offered the Kinch family only $90,000. That's still a loss of more than $200,000. So the family filed a case with the state's property tax appeal board to try to recover the money. They're just pretty much hoping that we'll go away or take a small amount instead of the refund that we're due and we'll just go away and accept what they say. The I-team contacted the library and school district's attorneys. The school district told us no comment. Attorneys for the library said the family should get their money back after that state's appeals process, but that could take years because state hearings are five years behind schedule. Assessor Kagey's office told the I-team that the family has another option. They can drop the case with the state because last week the assessor sent that certificate of error to the county's board of review. The board could reconsider, but a judge would have to approve its new decision. Whichever way the family decides to proceed, it's a gamble. We've lost our, our family business. We've lost the generational business that would have continued on, and, and it's no longer. The Cook County Assessor's Office says even though other offices now have the final say that the Assessor's Office will support the family and do all it can to make sure there is a tax refund. But Rob Cheryl, even if that family gets the money, they say it's too little too late. As you saw, that family business is wiped out. It's incredible. The Just details are disturbing. Yeah, very sad and we'll continue to follow the story and let you know if they get their money. I know you will. Right, we yeah. appreciate it. Good work, Jason. Thank you. Time for our weather forecast. We're looking at a string of pretty good days here, Sharon.